Hello and welcome to the Geoglyph project. Today we're going to do the Rhine papyrus problem number 45. This problem is the reverse of the preceding exercise, 44. Here we are given the cubic content of a container. Our rectangular granary uh, has a volume of 7500 quadruple hecat. We are asked what are the dimensions. We assume that the length and the width are 10 uh, for each. And now we want to know what the height of that granary is. So let's read the solution given in the papyrus. It says, multiply 75 times 20. It makes 1500. Take one tenth of 1500. That's 150. Take one tenth of that, that's 15. Take two-third of that, that's 10. Therefore, the dimensions of the granaries are 10 by 10 by 10. So now let's analyze the solution. First, we have to look at our conversion table. So we are starting with hundreds of quadruple hecat. We need to go from that to har. And we need for that to multiply by 20. Then we know that the width and the length are 10 for each. So we divide by 10, then by 10 another time. And that's how we get to 15. And since we have the dimensions in har and we want to go to cubits, we multiply by 2 thirds. So the dimensions are 10 times 10 times 10, which means that it's a cube. So now that we understand how they solved this problem, let's look at the hieroglyphic writing of the problem. A quick reminder of numbers in Egyptian. The strike is a unit. The upside down U is for tens. That curl is hundreds. And the lotus is a thousand. Also something important when it comes to fractions, we said before that uh, the R with a number underneath is a fraction. Uh, I want you to know that an R with two uh, little strikes underneath means two third. So now let's quickly review the solution in hieroglyphics. We start by doing the multiplication of 75 by 20 we do that in two steps so we multiply by 10 it gives you uh, 750 then we multiply by 20 and you see that the scribe made a little mistake uh, it's he put an r with 20 underneath uh, the r shouldn't be there that's why we have that little sign sick in there so we multiply 10 by 2 and we get 1,500. So we multiplied by 20 to go from 100 quadruple hecat to har. Now we're going to divide by 10, that's the length. It gives us 150. Then we divide by 10 again, that's the width. It gives us 15. Now the last step, we divide by 2 thirds, that's the r with two strokes underneath. And we finally get 10. So each side of the cube has a length of 10 cubit. Problem 46 is the exact same thing as 45. The only difference is that we have a volume of 25 instead of the 75. So if we want to do it the quick way, we just uh, realize that it's one third of the volume in the previous question. So all things remaining equal, we get a dimension of 10 by 10 by 3 thirds. You take 10 and you divide it by 3, it gives you 3 thirds. Let's review the hieroglyphic solution. So we start by 25, multiply that by 10, that's 250. Multiply by 2, it gives you 500. Again, the scribe made a little mistake and wrote a mouth. It should be 20, not 1 over 20. 
Then we move to the left. 500 divided by 10 is 50. Divided by 10 is 5. The mouth with two lines means two third. So two third of 5 is 3 plus 1 third, which is the height of the granary that we were looking for. So that's it. The, these are the solutions for problem 46. I hope this was helpful. See you soon.